Good day, everyone. We are the Group 4A from VSN 3G and we present to you our research study entitled Challenges of Nursing Students in Simulated Clinical Experience. This study aimed to determine the challenges in the simulated clinical experience of nursing students. It also provided the nursing administrators a glimpse of the dilemmas brought about by the abrupt shift to online learning. Specifically, this study sought to answer the following questions. Number one, what is the, dem the demographic profile of the participants based on sex, year level, type of device use, and the type of internet service? Next, what is the level of challenges encountered by nursing students in a simulated clinical experience when the participants are grouped according to profile variables and taken as a whole and categorized according to its components, such as assessment, course content, delivery of activities, submission of requirements, and internet connectivity. And lastly, is there a significant difference between the challenges in simulated clinical exposure of nursing students and the profile variables such as sex, year level, type of device used, and type of internet service? In this study, the researchers utilized a survey method in order to determine whether there was a significant relationship between the challenges encountered by nursing students and their, their profile variables. The participants of the study included the nursing students of the university, which were either male or female facing challenges in simulated clinical exposure. The USLS College of Nursing currently consists of 740 nursing students from the second year, third year, and fourth year levels. Out of the 740 nursing students, the sample size for the participants was 260, which was computed by using Slovin's formula. The participants were then stratified according to year level, from the total sample size of 260, 101 were selected from the second year, 96 students from the third year, and 63 students from the fourth year. The research instrument utilized in this study was in the form of a researcher-made questionnaire. It was validated using the Gooden Skates criteria that had a score of 0.976, which was excellent, and reliability test using Cronbach's Alpha of 4.59, which also meant excellent. For the results of the study, the demographic profile of the participants is presented in a pie graph and through a bar graph. It shows that 24% of the participants are male and 76% are female. 100 participants are from the second year, 96 and 62 participants came from the third year and fourth years respectively. 80% are laptop users, 5% are tablet users, 6% are desktop users, and only 9% use a cell phone for simulated clinical exposure. And 47% utilizes DSL, 30% uses fiber internet, 19% uses mobile data, and approximately 4% uses public Wi-Fi. For the components of simulated Simulated clinical exposure, the mean score for the components on assessment was 3.00. For the course content, a mean score of 2.78. Same goes for the components on delivery of activities, submission, and internet connectivity, who gained a mean score of 2.66, 2.63, and 2.69 respectively, with majority of the responses pointing towards agree and deemed as having low level of challenge. When taken as a whole, the mean score was 2.96 which was deemed as low as well. For the significant difference between the challenges in simulated clinical exposure of nursing students and profile variables, it shows that when it comes to the participants are categorized according to the type of device used, it shows a significant difference in the components of assessment, delivery of activities, and internet connection. In addition, when the participants are categorized according to the year level, it shows that there is a significant difference when it comes to their internet connection. The rest of the demographic profile and the components shows that there is no significant difference between the challenges in simulated clinical exposure of the nursing students and the profile variables. For the conclusions, the challenges in simulated clinical experience, as reported by both sexes of the participants, encountered difficulties with different components. In type of device use, majority of nursing students used laptops and cell phones during online learning. In year levels, all participants reported that they encountered difficulties in simulated clinical experience. In assessment, participants reported that they were assessed differently in simulated clinical experience. Overall, our findings imply that while students may be reasonably equipped to deal with online learning technology, they are not adequately prepared to deal with difficulties in simulated clinical experience, such as assessment, course content, delivery of activities, and internet connectivity components. For the recommendations, the researchers suggest the following to the different sectors, including school or nursing administrator to develop programs and brainstorm ideas and processes that would create a suitable environment for nursing students who are undergoing simulated clinical experience. Nursing students or future participants could be thorough and concise when it comes to this kind of research study. 
this would potentially provide your school administrators a direct point of view as to what you are going through during some related local experience. Future researchers to identify the relationship rather than the difference between the variables being studied in this type of research as it can simplify the factors toward identifying the challenges addressing students in some related clinical experience. For the data gathering procedure, the researchers recommend instead of utilizing the survey type of gathering data, they suggest conducting a one-on-one -on -one interview with the participants. This approach will provide a deeper and comprehensive response in answering the statement of the problems that were initially formulated. That concludes our presentation. Thank you so much and have a good day.